Hello and welcome to today's Bitcoin price prediction video. And yes, Bitcoin is right now seeing a rejection towards downside after taking the liquidity above our previous high, but in this video, we are going to talk about a bull flag that could be identified on the one hour time frame. And on top of that, I need to share with you a bullish Elliott Wave count that it looks like right now got completely invalidated. But first of all, what we are going to see. Yesterday, we were talking about that Bitcoin is trading at a very important key level because we were breaking through our previous high for a swing failure pattern. And on top of that, we mentioned that if we are able to change the market structure to bearish market structure on a lower term time frame, we might be interested going with a short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price. We've broke our previous lows right here. We got a higher probability of forming a lower high. It looks like lower high was formed. And right now we are seeing a massive rejection back towards the downside. If you are following me on Twitter, you would definitely know that I posted a very interesting post right here. Looks like Bitcoin is forming a bull flag. Of course, bull flag is going to be bullish Bitcoin pattern with a higher probability of breaking towards the upside. And also I said, it would be very, very nice if there is going to be a fake out towards the downside. Of course, watch the volume to fill the imbalances and then of course potentially go to 24,700 US dollars. For the bull flag to actually be valid, we were definitely paying attention to the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level, which at the time of the screenshot right here was definitely very nicely holding. And on top of that, we should always pay attention to the Fibonacci time, because when we are talking about the bull flag, we should see a break towards the upside before our one to one Fibonacci time level. And as of right now, yes, it looks like we are still not reaching our one to one Fibonacci time, but another problem actually occurred. As I said on Twitter right here, it would be nice if there is going to be a fake out, but watch the volume. Volume for the entire time we have been trading in a bull flag right here with our bearish market structure, lower highs and also lower lows, has been very, very nicely going lower and lower and lower. But right now, on a push towards the downside, and it looks like, yes, we are breaking our bull flag towards downside, we got insane volume increase right here. And because of that, the probabilities of a bull flag playing out, of a bull, bull flag seeing a break towards the upside, definitely greatly decreased. Later in the video, I am going to share with you where potentially we might still be looking to go with a buy, maybe even with a short or a sell position on Bitcoin, but definitely. Personally, I would not feel comfortable trading the bull flag right here, knowing that we are seeing an impulsive push towards downside with very high volume increase right here. And let me show you that, yes, Bitcoin right now is definitely seeing a push towards downside directly into the imbalances on the one hour time frame. And potentially we are going to completely feel our one hourly fair value gap. So where we are trading trading at the moment, yes, it is going to be a level of support, but nevertheless, I would not trade the breakout out of the bull flag that might occur, maybe even in the upcoming hours. If we would really like to see sign of strength right now to be formed on the Bitcoin price, in my opinion, we should definitely see change the market structure, first of all, on a lower term time frame. What we are seeing right now is going to be an impulsive push towards downside. And if we right now identify our lower highs and also lower lows, I think you are going to agree with me. We we do have a very important level of resistance at the area of 23,800 US dollars. And what we can also do right here, measure the entire upper price action with volume, point of control, value area low right here, Fibonacci, we can go actually from high to low right here, golden pocket exactly here. So I would definitely say Bitcoin at the moment with a push towards downside on a very high volume does not really look extremely bullish. And on top of that, we do have some very important resistances to be reclaimed at the area of 23,800. If we are going to be able to reclaim those levels towards the upside, of course, it is going to be bullish Bitcoin indication. But unfortunately, with a push towards downside, we are seeing right now our bullish Elliott wave count also got invalidated. Before we talk about that, if you haven't already, please smash up the like button right now, because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. And thank you very much if you're right now, actually smashed the like button. 
I would really like to share with you potential bullish elite wave count we were paying attention to for the past couple of days because looking at this specific area it looks like that couple of days ago yes we bounced exactly to the exact dollar accuracy from 0.618 fibonacci extension level right here and of course after an abc correction is finished right here we might be expecting five wave structure impulsive structure towards the upside and of course if we would really like to continue higher right now with this push towards downside we should not be closing the candles below our previous high and at the moment it looks like we are doing exactly that bitcoin a couple of minutes ago closed the first one hourly candle below our previous low right here and on top of that going from swing low to swing high we are also breaking through 0.5 fibonacci retracement level and because of that the probabilities of this being a five-way structure right here one two three four and then five definitely greatly once again decreased and it's not the most bullish indication we would really like to see so because of that in my opinion right now we should approach the chart very very technically and look where we actually do have our next level of support if right now our bull flag right here completely failed and on top of that our bullish elite wave count also it looks like it definitely failed so where is going to be our first important level of support we can pay attention to on monday formed a brand new weekly support level and what we can do here we are going to go with this level 23,300 us dollars which is going to be our brand new weekly level of support and it really looks like that yes bitcoin is right now seeing a push towards the downside directly into the weekly level of support right here fibonacci retracement we are going to go from swing low we are going to go to swing high and yes it looks like that golden pocket is going to be exactly uh, the golden fibonacci ratio and most importantly watch the picture right here we have imbalances exactly at the golden fibonacci ratio so what we can do right now if we are going to go with a rectangle going from this week to the high right here it looks like that yes we are reaching right on the imbalances the fair value gaps at the golden fibonacci ratio and of course also at the weekly level of support so because right now we are reaching those support levels of course we might be interested looking for long or buying positions at this specific area with very simple invalidation of course below our previous highs right here of course i would say below our golden fibonacci ratio more about the trades a little bit later let's go right now with the stock market where it looks like yes also this one yesterday got another push towards the upside and on the nasdaq chart we can right now actually identify some kind of a horizontal range connecting our highs expanding this one slightly lower and yes it looks like we got equal highs right here at the moment we are seeing a push towards the downside but i would still say because we did see a push towards the upside yesterday we definitely formed a higher high right here so of course if there is going to be some kind of a range formed right here we could be looking towards our previous lows at approximately 13,000 points and of course if there is going to be the range we could potentially expect that the range is going to hold and of course continue trading the range until it actually breaks now i would would say if the range does see a break towards downside most probably also bitcoin is going to lose our golden fibonacci ratio level of support right here but nevertheless as of right now we can definitely identify some kind of a horizontal range on the nasdaq chart but before right now we talk about the trades and also different indicators if you would like to trade bitcoin and ethereum with us there are insane free bonuses you can be getting right now on bitget exchange more than four thousand us dollars for free in trading bonus sign up with this specific link after initial deposit you get a bonus you can trade with bonus and of course we draw the profit it's to your own wallet this exchange also offers copy trading so make sure you get the bonus right now but it really looks like on the cluster algorithm on the daily time frame yes it does look like that we did confirm yesterday some kind of a hidden bullish divergence because we can identify a lower low on the cluster algorithm but still a higher low on the bitcoin price so yes it looks like this right here is going to be hidden bullish divergence on the smoothest stochastic rsi which is going to be bullish bitcoin indication but nevertheless i would just like to say like that because right now we are still seeing bullish market structure on the one hour time frame my bias overall it's still more bullish and i would prefer that bitcoin is actually going to continue its way towards the upside i would only get more bearish if we are going to start losing our previous highs that being said if we are going to lose our golden fibonacci ratio weekly and of course also after we are going to feel our imbalances literally at the area where we are trading at the moment the moment bitcoin is going to lose our local support level right here and of course we can also identify exactly at this area some kind of a diagonal level of support in my opinion losing all of those levels towards now is a definitely bearish indication and we might be expecting for a bigger retracement back towards downside on the bitcoin 
Bitcoin price. But let me write and share with you what potentially we can be trading to take advantage of the price action right here. I'm withstanding that because right now it looks like we are reaching a very important level of support. In this area, of course, we might be interested in looking for a buy or a long position. So how we can be trading that? if a lot of people get tracked, but as of right now, it still looks like open interest increasing towards the upside. People are shorting at this area. So most probably, of course, we might be expecting at least I would say golden pocket or the weekly to actually be hit. If we are going to see massive open interest decrease, also, of course, looking at the aggregated open interest, massive open interest decrease right here, preferably with the liquidations. And of course, reaction towards the upside, it is definitely going to be bullish Bitcoin indication. Or on the other hand, if we are not going to see a lot of people wrecked, simply change the market structure to higher highs and higher lows. Of course, first of all, on a lower term time frame, literally exactly as we were paying attention to yesterday. When we took out the highs right here, lower low was formed, lower high, and of course we got it pushed towards downside. Exactly the same thing I would be expecting today if we would really like to see that the support level right here is going to be able to hold. Once again, my bias would change only if we start breaking through a diagonal level of support towards downside. That said, we are going to see acceptance back into our horizontal range, which have been talking about for the past couple of days right here and yes as of right now we are already closing some candles below the top of our horizontal range but i would still say because it's going to be a very nice support area where we are at the moment i would really like to see if bitcoin is going to be able to start forming higher highs and higher lows or maybe some people are going to get wrecked maybe even in the upcoming minutes if that is not going to be the case of course most probably we are then looking for even lower price targets and of course also if we start breaking through a diagonal level of support towards downside bearish indication of course, most probably we are looking for lower targets right here on the Bitcoin price. But I would really like to see if the stock market is going to hold the horizontal range bottom right here towards the upside, maybe a bounce. And of course, also then Bitcoin could potentially see back a bounce towards the upside. But if you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.